I'm gonna talk about something that scares all of us, and that's having your boss in the room when you are facilitating the meeting. Or maybe you're just um, a very strong, vocal participant, but your boss is in the room, so do one thing that scares you every day. So that's one thing that would scare me. And imagine there's four scenarios that can happen with your boss. One, the boss, they're going to actually dominate the conversation and make it very difficult for you to actually keep control of the group. Two, you might be worried that the boss doesn't say anything and then at the end they just come down and say that's not going to work, this is my decision, thank you very much everyone and then it's a total waste of everyone's time and they really over, over not told you what their decision making authority is that it's ultimate and they really didn't want to have any input. The third thing that can happen is you can keep looking at your boss and asking yourself I wonder what they're thinking Mm, I wonder what they're thinking Ooh. and you're almost placating and looking more to your boss for their ultimate uh, approval for what's going on and that's not very good either the group doesn't necessarily feel safe because they sense that your allegiance lies with a senior leader in the room versus uh, their their true engagement and there's probably another scenario which I've forgotten about, but there's so many ways it can go wrong with the boss in the room. And it really depends on your attitude. So what if you, first of all, met with your boss and you talked with them about what you were planning to do and there were no real surprises. And then, even though supposedly you and your boss are up to speed with what's going to happen in the meeting and how the role that you want them to play, um, the next thing that happens is actually your boss forgets everything that you've talked about. Well, at least now you internally need to build confidence and say, um, I hearing you say this boss, uh, did we get it right? Can someone else share what they heard XYZ boss say? And make sure your boss feels really heard. And then you can say, would you be willing to hear some other points of view on this? And that puts you in really good light because you have honored your boss, but you've also honored the group. Uh, thirdly, I think you just need to know that you are totally in charge. And even though your boss is there, your job is to, your job is not only to engage the entire group and get the wisdom out in the room, but also to honor that your senior leader has um, the ability to to say things that you are not expecting. They have information that you don't know or they have information that the group cannot know at this moment. And so just to trust your leader as well. <sighs> I think there's much more to this topic, but I'm gonna end there and I wish you luck for having the boss in the room.